How can the human race use the Earth's resources without causing an environmental catastrophe? As we search for answers, we come up against one problem of theoretical economics. The tragedy of the commons. Commons existed in many regions in the Middle Ages. Almost every village had a pasture in which shepherds cooperatively grazed their animals. In 1968, U.S. biologist Garrett Hardin explained a flaw in this system as he saw it. Every shepherd who acts rationally must send as many animals as possible to graze in the pasture, even if this is detrimental to the community in the long run. His expression, the tragedy of the commons, describes how groups of individuals, each acting independently and rationally, cause the destruction of a shared resource. Today we face the real prospect of a global tragedy of the commons, occurring in our exhausted oceans. Ever more powerful fishing boats, laden with ever more sophisticated fishing gear, are chasing ever diminishing stocks of fish. Yet there is hope. The Nobel Prize winner Eleanor Ostrom showed that tragedy is not inevitable. Locals can provide solutions that align their individual self-interests with the common good. Alpine commons and coastal fisheries are examples of shared resources sustained over long periods by local communities. In the case of fish that migrate through high seas, it's crucial for people to work together internationally. Rudy Closer, an Australian scientist monitoring the recovery of orange roughy stocks, sees good but slow progress with nations signing up to regional fisheries management agreements that could provide relief to high seas fish species. Ideas like these might still bring the tragedy of the commons to a happy ending.